still live in the Stewart area, don't you? And I know a while there he lived in Mount Airy, but he's back up in the Stewart area now. And Brian has won the first place Blue Ribbon Banjo competition here five different times. Uh, 98, 2001, 2005, 2009, and 2012. And I want to tell you this, he's played a lot of conventions, a lot of smaller conventions at Galax and some big ones too, up in West Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, just Tennessee. He's won over 100 blue ribbons in the banjo competition in the old time category. And old Brian knows how to do it, buddy. I tell you, he's, he's got the rhythm, but he's got the melody too. And I've always thought Brian was one of the very, very best. And uh, Brian, uh, I believe your dad played music, didn't he? Yes. Yeah. Or did, did he play banjo or fiddle? Yeah, he played. <coughs> Excuse me, he played the banjo and some fiddle, but I didn't learn off of Daddy. I didn't start playing the banjo until uh, after I got driving race cars out of my system. My cousin Dale Fane got me started on the banjo. My daddy then passed away. But, uh, I think I was maybe 21 before I started playing the banjo. Right. What about some of the influences on banjo? Who did you listen to growing up that might have influenced you? Well, of course, everybody around home listened to Charlie Poole. He went to Clawhammer banjo player, and old man Dudley Williams, he was an old-timey uh, two-finger style banjo player, but um, people like Grand Hughes around home was one. Uh, Ralph Stanley was a big influence right. on my playing, and uh, of course, Andy Grutherford. Yeah, Andy Grutherford. I used to I, play some of Andy. Yeah, and I, I played the guitar with him for a while before right. he that's where he couldn't play. Right. Now you used to play, uh, did you play guitar with uh, Raymond, McCl uh, Raymond Fairchild? Yeah, I spent a year playing guitar with him. Raymond Fairchild was a great bluegrass style pick around of Maggie Valley, North Carolina. And uh, Brian was telling me backstage he played over a year with uh, Raymond Fairchild on the bluegrass circuit. And uh, Brian, what about your first memory of Galax? You, recall being up here maybe you didn't even play or just came as a youngster or what yeah uh, i guess the first time i was here not trying to be ugly but i was still in my mama's belly she was pregnant with me in august of 71 <laughs> but i can remember a whole lot of things that went on up here when i was a little kid that i seen especially when them horse stalls were down there but shouldn't be uh, i won't tell them in front of people i'm gonna kiss them uh, just I can remember the, the hippie movement real big up here. Yeah, back in the 70s. They really loved the music and they came to see some of the old timers and uh, like, they liked to camp in those horse stalls like, here many years. But uh, what about your first memory on stage playing at Gay Lakes? First time I played in the banjo contest was in 93 up here and I was scared to death. Yep. About like looking a bear in the face, but I think I got six that year. But you were hooked then. <laughs> yeah. You were hooked then after winning something. Yeah. And then in '98, you got your first place blue ribbon, didn't you? Four times since then. Great. Well, Brian, why don't you play us a, a couple numbers for us? All right, I'll play one pretty common to hear the old folks around home play a whole lot. One called Shooting Group.
right, I guess I'm gonna do uh, a little bit of Shout Little Lou with you. Thank you.